everybody it's getting late so I've got to work quickly it is August 22nd and I am back to my hive to take off the second uh, MAC treatment which is the formic acid treatment that I put on my hive this is round two so this hive is relatively weak so I applied one strip about three weeks ago and then two weeks after that I apply the second strip so when I did that, the directions specifically state that you have to have lots of ventilation. So I took off my robber screen. And what I noticed, I just put it back, is that there's a lot of these wax capping crumbs, which to me indicates there was probably some robbing going on. This hive has been reduced down to two brood boxes and one honey super, and there was some honey in there, a good amount of honey actually. So I hope everything's going to be all right. My goal today is just to take off the formic acid strip and just uh, take a quick peek in there. There is some activity here, so I know that there are bees in there. Um, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's get in there. All right, give them a few puffs there. And uh, let's get in there. This hive is a lot weaker. This is a pretty weak hive now. It be the big Bertha hive, but it's swarmed at least twice. I know that. So, population's gone down by quite a bit. So, all right, so we still have bees in here. That's good. I'm gonna smoke them down. And I still see honey. That's good. Let me bring you in. My goal is just to take the formic acid strips off and uh, just to check on things a bit. So if these were rubbed out, you'll see lots of uh, shredded comb. This is just my second year. I haven't had much, many problems with robbing, but I've used these homemade robber screens. So there's still a lot of nectar in there. So maybe the robin happened down below. So this super looks all right. I also just placed a small hive beetle trap that I just made at the very bottom of this hive as well. So let's just tighten this back up. So there's still honey in this super, plenty of super. So the robbing bees didn't make it all the way up here, at least. All right. Okay. Getting pretty late, so I don't want to be doing too much of this. Um, okay, so good numbers of bees still. All right, I just want to get in here and take off the formic acid strip. So that's my main goal today. Remove the shim. So, okay, that looks all right. Remove the shim and remove the strip. It's done its job. just put the bees back. So So this is pretty late in the day to be doing this. Um, I'm just going to take a real quick peek and see if I can see any swarm cells down below. No, no swarm cups. Good. Okay. All right, let's put these girls back. Let me put that back right. Right. 
so not as bad as I feared there definitely is a good population of bees in there there's still lots of honey I replaced the robber screen I took out the formic acid strip the bees are not happy with me right now it's pretty late in the day you usually don't want to do hive checks once the Sun has gone down but I didn't really have a choice in the matter because um, I'm not gonna be home tomorrow so it's really and we're supposed to get some warm weather so I um, want to get those formic acid strip or the formic acid strip out of there as quickly as possible it's been in there a week and uh, yeah don't like seeing all those wax crumbs usually that's the indication of robbing um, but yeah all right I'll check these girls again in about another week all right thanks for tuning in see you next time bye